Hello and greetings, all my brothers and sisters in Christ. This is Wendy, and I am going to um, read you a vision and read you Father's Word. I'm going to give Romans chapter 10, if you do not know our precious King Yeshua. Please read Romans chapter 10. This is God's faithful and true and errant word. Read it in faith, for he longs to take you into his arms. So Romans chapter 10, verses 9 and 10. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. So that's God's word, his true word. Okay. I wanted to say, before I go into praise and worship, um, that Father's Word, I don't know if I should say this before or after Father's Word, but I'm going to skip it and say it after Father's Word. The transcript is out there, so you know who, whoever doesn't look at the video, they'll read the transcript, but they won't hear this part. Um, okay, so let's go into praise and worship to our wonderful God, our glorious, holy, wonderful, and true, mighty are you. Father Yahweh, Elohim, your beautiful Holy Spirit, and your beautiful Holy Son, King Yeshua HaMashiach, I love you so much. I will bow down to you forever and ever, for you are worthy to be praised. You are worthy, worthy, oh so worthy to be praised. I love you so much. I love you forever and ever. so much. I simply adore you. And I hope and I pray that everyone that sees me sees your perfect son's light within me and his love. And Father, please let me decrease so your precious son can increase in me. I love you so much. Thank you, Father, for all of your confirmations. You're ever so wonderful and so amazing and ever so indescribable, unchangeable, and ever so irresistible. You put a smile upon my heart. And you put a song in my heart. Always. 
I love to praise you, Father. In King Yeshua's holy and precious name, amen and amen. All right, let's, um, I'm going to give you the vision and Father's word first, and then I'll tell you something after that. This vision was received last night early this morning for 22 January 2016. I see this huge bag. It was fat and busting at the seams. It comes into a cave. This bag was moving and I, I couldn't tell what it was moving. I just saw the bag. It was just, it filled the whole vision. It was just huge. And it looked like it was a huge brown bag that was sewn together with different pieces of material, but they were all the same color. I don't know. I can't explain it to reinforce it. It was so big. So I see it moving towards me. So it was being carried by something, but I couldn't see what it was be being carried by. And I see it come into a cave. And all of a sudden, I see the person who brought it in, which I didn't see before, handing out packages which were coming out of the huge bag. And the packages were wrapped in what looked like brown paper bags. Then I began to see someone eating pudding, then someone eating a sandwich, then someone eating a chicken wing. And this was, this evidently means something because I saw each person, one at a time, eating these items. And I know that everything, everything means something when God has given you a vision or a dream, even his word, everything means something. So, um... And while they were eating, they were praising and giving thanks. Thank you, Jehovah Jireh, for providing for us in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I then see the person leaving that was distributing the food, and the bag was still pretty full. I am actually now in the front of the carriage with horses. It was an old-time carriage that I didn't see before. And it's as if I am a passenger in the middle with the carriage going. And the Holy Spirit gives me the revelation that it is heavily protected by God's holy fire. In other words, the whole carriage with the huge bag is protected by God's holy fire. And I then see the holy fire encircling the whole carriage very briefly. I didn't see it very long. Word from Jehovah God Elohim concerning the vision. My people will be protected and provided for. God Jehovah Elohim will do all this and more for my faithful children who give up all for me. They shall be led to green pastures and to the still waters and they shall be filled wanting nothing. The scripture that goes with this is John 16:33. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. But my God, oops, Philippians 4.19, But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Matthew 16.24, Then said Jesus unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. 
Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Matthew 5, 6 Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. All right. Psalm 23 is one of my favorites. I know it's a lot of people's favorites, but it gives you such comfort when you're in the middle of pain. That's one of the one of the ways God comforts you is his word and Psalm 23 is oh so comforting. And I particularly focus on um for thou art with me. <laughs> That's the most beautiful psalm. One of the most beautiful. And here's Father's word. Please take this word into prayer. Psalm 115.1 Not unto us, O Lord, not unto us, but unto thee. I'm sorry, I got a typo. But unto thy name give glory for thy mercy and for thy truth's sake. I received this word from Father God Yahweh at 1.44 p.m. at 22 January 2016. My most beautiful Benjamite daughter in spirit, write my holy words for my children to hear, obey, and experience. I called my daughter a Benjamite because that is the tribe that my son has put her in. I know that all of my children have always thought that my word has stated of the Hebrew tribes of Jacob in my Old Testament. However, that is not the case. The 144,000 are composed from my son's bride. Be it they may be from my first covenant people that are part of my son Yeshua's bride. This mystery of God is now being revealed through many of my servants. Some have had different pieces. Even though my daughter was told when my son was training her that she was going to be his warrior bride, she had never put it together. Oh, she knew before I gave her the vision, but my daughter is not one to disclose anything without my permission. She does everything and operates through my Ruach HaKadosh. This is what my son's bride is, walking in my spirit, seeking my face, prayerfully walking with my son on his glorious path. His bride cannot get enough of him. You can see how things are winding down as I will be revealing more and more to my children. My time seems very long and uncomfortable sometimes, but my children, I am perfect. All is done for everyone's good, not just for a few. As I have mentioned earlier, I will not let the enemy harm my faithful. I will defend you, my chosen remnant. This could have different meanings, as some will die for my son's sake. But God is with you every moment. Do you not think that I cannot supernaturally get you through? Look up the story in Daniel, where three of my faithful children are thrown into the hotter than hot fire. Were any burned? Was there any smell of smoke on them? Did the king Nebuchadnezzar see three or four in the fire? Read my word and find out, my children. Father God Yahweh, glorious and righteous eternally, has spoken. Now what I wanted to say concerning this word is two confirmations. Actually, there's there's been more, but the two that um, the Holy Spirit brought to mind earlier, one of them for me was um, back in, I guess it was July, I had writ written down different things that God was telling me. And one of these things he would give me phrases or, or different words, something to that effect. And 
The Holy Spirit reminded me that he had given me the word Benjamin. And this, this, this tablet may have been thrown out, but my husband started school and he started, he was going to start using the remnants of that tablet because I had, um, there was still some paper left in it to write on. But miraculously through God, it came back, he gave it back to me. He ripped out the pages and gave them to me. And that's on one of those pages is where I had written back in July of 2014, where he had given me the word Benjamin. And I couldn't figure out why. Um, and also with the word Benjamin, he gave me the word Wales, W-A-L-E-S. So I had looked up all this, trying to figure out why he had given me those words. And it turns out when I got the camper that the last name of the woman, her last name was Welsh. And when I looked up the word Wales, it had the word Welsh in and part of it. Uh, I guess uh, another word for Wales and um, so that's how marvelous and how wonderful God works um, there's, there's that tablet may have been thrown away and I wouldn't have been able to see uh, what I had written down back in 2014 but God preserved it for me. And so, yeah, he had given me the word Benjamin back in 2014, and I had no idea what that meant. But now I do. Thank you, Father God. Father God, Yahweh. For all your confirmations, for everything you've done for me, everything you will continue to do for me. Thank you. And the other one is um, the time that Father gave me this message. The time is 1.44 p.m. So I take it as a confirmation. You may take it as something different, but um, the way God has worked with me, I know that's a confirmation. The 1.44 p.m. for the 144,000 message. So I just wanted to share that, how God works, how God leads his children in many different ways and in different ways. Um, confirmations and methods and you may have been given something years ago that the Holy Spirit will bring up and it may be revealed to you soon or has already been revealed to you but that's just the way God works and he's so amazing and so wonderful and mystery solved of why I was given the word Benjamin two years ago well almost two years ago I guess July of 2014 amen and praise our wonderful beautiful most faithful God our Holy Father his Holy Son King Yeshua and his Holy Spirit Praise be to his wonderful name. And I will bow down to him forever and ever. I love him so. I love my God. And I'm so glad. He is my God. So let me leave you with Numbers. Chapter 6. Verses. 22 to 27 
And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto Aaron, and unto his sons, saying, On this wise ye shall bless the children of Israel, saying unto them, The Lord bless thee, and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee, and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee, and give thee peace. And they shall put my name upon the children of Israel, and I will bless them. <clears throat> In the holy, mighty, perfect name of our holy Savior, King Yeshua HaMashiach, Lord Jesus Christ, Baruch Hashem Adonai, blessed be the name of the Lord, Amen, and Shalom.